is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen i thought we were gonna have action figure surgery unfortunately we did not get that completed just yet ran into some snagsies you know what i'm saying so today we actually have some aew action figure news for you guys and it is going to be brand new images official images not like all the scroll through where we get every single detail and all the great images the proto images but we know exactly what they look like you know we got the you know the one image that we can take a look at examine it everything like that and i don't think i have the chase images at least at the time i'm recording my voice i'm going to go through the whole line and at the end if the chase images are available i will cover those as well but it looks like we're not going to be getting the chases today i hope that's not the case but you guys will know at the end of the video if that was a thing but let's go ahead and dive in guys let's go ahead and start off with a figure that we had not seen at all you know we had some leaks and some blurry images and some images that look like they were taken with a toaster but we do have the full wave now in good images and we're going to take a look at the photo of the figure that we didn't know anything about so let's go ahead and pull it up guys we have Sheeta from AEW and Rival Collection series number six and it looks like uh, we're going to be getting this beautiful looking gear I can't remember what the the reference you know was for the gear or the inspiration behind the gear it's like slipping my mind right now for some reason however Sheeta looks really good this is a really good women's figure right here I can already tell that it's going to be super poseable. One thing I'm super worried about though, Brad, if you look at the lower legs, I'm still not seeing lower leg rotation. I'm really afraid that they did that again. I do like the specific feet mold though. One thing that AEW figures always do is they do a really good job of giving us unique one-of-one -one molds. It's not redoing the same thing over and over again. For each individual character and each thing, they try to give us something brand new and something unique to that specific character, which is really awesome, man. That's like such good attention to detail. But I will say, I would love to see some lower leg articulation. So the Frankie Kazarian slash Pac mold, the Luchasaurus mold, the Riho mold. We need to have that redone where we can actually have some boot rotation like the rest of our figures have. Because I don't think, like that's just not good, man. We need to be able to pose our figures to the best of our ability. Because if we aren't able to do that, man, it makes the figures like less quality. Like we can't pose them around as good. They don't feel as good in the hand. And it makes them feel super stiff. Like I feel like their legs are kind of harder to stand. I don't know if you guys can agree with that. But Sheeta looks really good. I like the Sheeta figure. We get another AEW Women's Championship. The red gear looks really sick. And I like that this gear kind of breaks up the rest of the gears that we've seen. I feel like a lot of our gears are black. I know this has this has black in the gear, but it's cool to see the red intertwined right there, and that's good to see. So we do have a look at Sheeta. Let's move on next, guys, to MJF. Now, MJF is a bit plain Jane. You know, he's not the most iconic character as far as toyetic goes. You know, they, you, you don't want, like, you know, it's just the trunks mainly. He's kind of the, I don't know, Randy Orton has tattoos. I'd say he's the Randy Orton of figure collecting, but I love collecting Randy Orton figures because his tattoos look good and all of that. So, you know, he's got the ring, he's got the mic, he's got his, you know, his scarf wrist tape that looks really good. It is the black and gold gear, and another theme that you'll see throughout this wave is that a lot of these figures have black and gold gear for some reason. Like, literally, I think five out of the six... Or, or a lot of them literally have, you know, the, the gold and black gear. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if that was on purpose or what. But uh, this is kind of a newer head sculpt. It looks like he's got a little bit more facial hair. The facial expression is a little bit different. Hair color and everything like that. He does have the ring on there. He's got his scarf wrist tape again. The black and gold gear. Kind of a plain Jane figure. I hope that it doesn't rot. I mean, I, I don't think I've seen maybe Riho. I think Riho's the only like AEW figure that I've seen rot on shelves. The rest of them have kind of moved out of there really, really quickly. So... So this is, uh, I kind of wish they went with like some colorful gear instead of just the black and gold, but you know, it is what it is. We'll get more MJFs down the line. Hopefully we'll get even better gear and, you know, differences and stuff. I hope the next time we see MJF, it'll be in his white boots with the blue gear that I think him and Jericho rocked when they took on the Young Bucks, I do believe. So that would be really good. But Series 6 MJF is looking pretty solid. Next up, we have Jake Hager. And this figure looks okay. I think that, the again, they're, they're coming at us with the unique shoe mold, which I really like. His legs are gigantic. This is a big guy, man. Another great thing about this figure is the cloth accessory that we're getting. Like, look at this cloth accessory, man. The t-shirt hoodie. Can you imagine put? Like, hopefully he's not so big that the t-shirt hoodie fits every other figure, like, really, really, like, big and loose. Because can you imagine putting that, like, sleeveless or that shirt hoodie on, like, a Roman Reigns or another character like that? I think that would be super sick. So that's one of those things that I'm really hoping it comes to fruition and it looks really good so that, you know, we can put that on other guys and other entrances and stuff like that. I think that would be a really sick shirt 
to put on a guy like a Randy Orton. You know, you could cut the sleeves off and, you know, get a bunch of them, put them on different characters, build a stable. There's so many creative and cool things that you can do with it, but I like Jake Hager. His, I mean, his figure's kind of boring, you know, he's just got, like, the plain black and gold again, another thing that we've seen. Got his wrestling shoes slash boots on. Head sculpt looks pretty solid. I am glad that the, the blonde hair color isn't, like, as orange as I thought. I think it looks really good here in these images, so that's something that makes me really excited for the figure, and, you know, I don't know. I know he's the U.S. champion. I know I haven't put out a pick that in a while, but I know he's the MDT US champion, but I don't know if I will use this version of him or if I'll keep my other version. I kind of like the version that I got already, so we'll just play that by ear, by ear and see how it goes and, you know, just kind of treat that the way it is, but there's Jake Hager. Moving on, guys, we also have Chris Jericho, and Chris Jericho is actually the Chase variant, and they actually posted the Chase variant, so I'll pull up both of them side by side so you guys can see. So the first version is going to be the non-Chase version, which is going to come with the AEW Championship. You get the scarf. You get the yelling expression. Really good head sculpt on this guy. I think the skin tone looks really good. The expression looks really good. He kind of reminds me of the Seth Rollins X-Men gear is kind of what it reminds me of with the black and yellow. Another black and yellow gear, like I said, the theme of this wave. What does this make now? You have so many different Jerichos. You had the Series 1, you had the Series 1 Chase, you had the Ringside Exclusive, you had the Series 1B, you have this one, you have the Chase variant. So there's a lot of Jericho figures out there in circulation, but I think both look really good. I will say that the Chase variant is super sick. I know that his tights are pretty plain Jane, but the jacket that he comes with, man, that purple and black like suit jacket is super sick. Again, another jacket that you can put on your other figures. Maybe you can put it on a Seth Drippin' Rollins. You can put it on some promo guys. There's a lot of creative things you can do with that, but both of them come with the AEW title. You do get the yellow sunglasses, the yellow, you know, the yelling expression and stuff. This is really good, man. I, I really enjoy this. This one doesn't even come with knee pads, so I mean, that's a thing as well. Uh, I hope that, uh, again, these chases become more available and stuff like that because I don't only want a mock chase figure. Like, I want a chase figure that I can pull out of the packaging and use for, you know, creative things. So if you guys agree with me on that, let me know down in the comment section below. But the jacket on this Chase Jericho is really, really sick. Love the way it looks. Think it looks absolutely fantastic. So there's both versions of Jericho. And then we also have the Lucha Bros, Ray Phoenix and Penta. And both of these look insane. I, I, I'll say straight up that Pinto probably looks more insane just because, you know, he's got the mask or like the, the drapery over the mask. I know Ray Phoenix obviously has a mask too, but the body gear and all of that stuff that Pinta has, these look insane, man. The gold on these is just crazy. It's almost like this is a super stable with all this black and gold going on with all of these different figures. But Ray Phoenix and Pinta both look insane. I think both of them look good. They have new head sculpts. They look really clean. Huge shout out to my man. Matt for these images because he's the one that took them and he did a fantastic job. Like, they look really, really good. Love the way the tattoos came out. It looks like they improved the tattoos on Ray Phoenix and Penta, if I'm not mistaken. They just look a little bit cleaner. If I'm, if I'm mistaken, you guys can let me know. But I think, you know, the gold looks outstanding. I love this head sculpt on Penta. Body gear looks really, really good. And you guys know that their figures the first time around were insane. So I know these are going to be just slightly better. I'm sure they're going to keep improving. But that is just super crazy. Now, I know the other Chase variant in the set is Jake Hager. So uh, I, I don't think they posted it just yet. And if you guys were wondering, I don't think we know exactly, you know, the, the number. I don't know if Jericho is the 3,000. Or if he is the is the 5,000. So we'll have to wait and see exactly, you know, what they want to do with that and what the numbers are. I could actually ask my buddy Matt as well, and I'll, I'll try to let you guys know as soon as possible. Maybe I can comment or something. But uh, they still haven't posted Jake Hager. I know he's going to be in camo shorts. I know he's going to have an inner circle t-shirt and stuff. But the Lucha Bros look good. The rest of the way, I mean, overall, I don't know really how to feel about this wave. I feel like Series 5 was pretty solid. But I think this Series 6 isn't bad. I know we got a lot of repeats. You have the Lucha Bros. You have Jericho. You have MJF. You only have two new characters. I know we're still waiting on the Unmatched Series. I know that we're going to be getting a Miro soon. I know that, you know, we're, we're getting a lot of great things coming very soon from the AEW figures, and I can't wait to see what those look like, but I'm, I'm trying to hang out and see if we can, you know, get the, get the Chase variant Hager in here, 
so that I could post that up as well. And finally, all right, they finally posted it up. Guys, taking a look at it here, you guys can get a little bit better of a, you know, an idea of what we're getting here. You get the inner circle t-shirt. You do have the camo shorts. I will say the camo shorts look a bit plain Jane or like flat kind of, you know, there's not a lot of like detail going on there. It just kind of looks like, I don't know. It's it's definitely not the most exciting chase ever, but I do like the camo. I do like the inner circle tee. I wish we could get more of those. Again, another cool idea would be like accessory packs from ringside or something where, you know, you could put a bunch of t-shirts from a bunch of different talent or do like like an accessory stand or like a merch stand deal where you could like put a whole bunch of accessories to put on your figures and like your crowd and stuff. I think that would be a pretty cool idea as well. But I'm liking it. I like the head sculpt. You know, he kind of looks a little bit like Abe Lincoln a little, but hopefully this figure will feel good in the hand and be able to stand and stuff. He actually does have rotation at the boot, it looks like, hopefully. And, you know, he's got the double jointed knees and stuff. So hopefully this guy will be able to pose around, but you guys can let me know down below. What do you think of the Chase variants? What do you think of the overall set? Um, You know, do you think five or six is better? I think that, five, I don't know, I think it's kind of hard to say. I think Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy really brought up 5, but I don't know. You guys can let me know down below. I think 5 probably is a little bit better, but I don't know. You guys may think differently. You guys let me know down in the comment section below, but that is going to do it, guys. Hopefully surgery coming tomorrow. Jeez, been working on that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Let me know what you think of these AEW images down in the comment section below. And don't cross the line like the Nobu rotation on a lot of these figures. That really upsets me. Upsets me! You cross